section. All right, we're going to go through the proficiency really quickly. So uh, we're going to have a we have a condenser mic out in 295, and we're going to pretend we have a condenser mic out in 283 as well in number two. So here we go. We'll start at the patch bay. So a patch from 295, number one, then to SSL mic in number one, and then for 283. We'll go from the second one, number two, and SSL mic input number two. Then we take a journey down here. Uh, you'll see that if the lights are green, that means it's listening to the computer. We don't. We want to listen to the microphone, so there's a little button that says flip. And it turns the light red. Uh, we said condenser mic, so they need phantom power. It's the top button. Then we'll give some gain. We should see some something on the meters here. Now, the computer is post fader, so you'll need to pull up these two faders. And that, that's it. Now we can go back to our computer. All right, our session's set up, <coughs> and these two tracks have an input of one and two, so I'm just going to input monitor on them. So that's my the two microphones I just plugged in. Now here's the the fastest way I think to do our Q mix, the way I want you guys to just hold down your Alt at this point, Alt. Output bus one and two, it doesn't matter what bus as long as they're se sequential. Next one still holding down Alt three and four. I'm going to select all by holding on Alt and click on any tile, any nameplate down here. Now I can hold Shift Alt and holding those I can click the letter P and the faders and everything snaps. I missed that one and it all snaps. Then we can do our new tracks. Shift Command N, Command Right Arrow, Command Down Arrow, type the number 2, and return or enter. And there's our, our two tracks. At this point, these are selected so I can take advantage of my shortcuts even more. Shift Alt Command, here goes my inputs. The inputs should correspond to those two buses we just did. So input 1 and 2 automatically goes to 3 and 4. So we'll save these guys. And outputs should be something different. I set aside outputs 23 and 24 for me. Let's make a Shift Alt Command. Maybe the ones just before it. So SSL 19 and 20. There it is. I'm gonna hit spacebar and we should start seeing this click track and other things back on the console. So back over here on the SSL, we said channels 23 and 24 would be for me so I'm going to pan those out for me send them to the mix bus and over here I'm going to confirm that my monitor source is the mix bus so I can listen to it if I want if, it's, if I don't have it listed as a source it won't work turn up the gain on the monitor level so I can do that if I want now back over here in our channels, we need these and this level into, into the headphones, the first pair in that room, and we need this to go to the room behind us. So here's how we do that. I'm just going to pull these up so I can keep track of where things are. So this is my first set. So I'm going to turn on by clicking down, pushing down the, the green knobs, turns it on. Give it some level, give it a little bit of level, pan left, pan right. The next set do the same thing. This is for the second room behind us. Turn on, turn on, and this time engage the button that says QB, QB. Again, pan left, pan right. That's it. There's one last step, I guess. Over up here in the far right corner, there's a master knob for the Q stereo A, Q stereo B. That the headphones won't work unless the, these are up a little bit. Let's take a listen and see if it worked. So this Q box is plugged in. Can't find my patch cable. So if I patch in, I should be able to hear what, what they would be hearing out there. So that's QA. I was successful. That's what they would be hearing. And QB, I hear nothing. I love it. Oh, I didn't give it any gain on the individual channels. I get an A minus, I guess. Um, good. So those are working. All right, the last thing is I need to patch in our talkback. So here's the way we'll do that. We, we set aside a, a track called Talk TV for talkback. 
we're going to turn on input monitoring and we'll make note that the input is from A8 and I'm going to make sure no other tracks have that input just going to make sure that I don't goof something up okay once I know it's an A8 I can look and access that channel directly by just plugging into Pro Tools input 8 and I'm going to get the sound from the talk back out All right. So the button we want at this point to use the built-in microphone is this external talk back. Hello, hello, hello. Let's go ahead and show the computer screen. As I hold this down, you can see my snap. Hello! You can see it. It's getting me talking and snapping. So that's, that's it. How did I do?